Hey, look, my name is Jonathan Courtney. I'm the CEO of AJ and Smart. I've been a UX designer for 10 years. I've also hired UX designers for the last five years. So the tips I'm about to give you in this video are gonna be the best! <laughs> this video is perfect for junior or mid-level UX designers looking to get an edge in their job interviews. And in this video, I wanna just give you three of what I consider to be the most important things to do when you're in a UX interview to increase your chances of actually getting a job. Now, one thing I wanna say is that this room is about 10 thousand degrees celsius so i'm going to get super sweaty during this video it's just we've got this crazy heat wave in germany i can't i can't do anything about it so tip number one and this is the most important tip i'm putting it right at the start and if you just focus on this one you already have an advantage over everyone else tip number one is understand product don't just understand ux design don't just understand the user understand the terminology and everything there is to know about the world of product it's so unbelievably important to understand that what you're likely going to be working on is a digital product. And if you don't understand how products are made, then you're already going to be at a disadvantage in an interview. So some of the ways to understand this, oh, I'm so sweaty. I'm sorry, it's fine. We just keep it in. You just... The best way to do this is to do a little bit of homework beforehand. And there's two books that you can read to catch up on the terminology of the product world. Number one is The Lean Startup. This is a great book to learn terminology like MVP, things like that that people will bring up in interviews and expect you to know. So read the book, The Lean Startup, and then read the book, or at least the first half of the book, Hacking Growth. These two books combined will give you a good overview of product, product marketing, product strategy, enough for you to already stand out over everyone else in a job interview for UX design. That's my number one tip, understand the world of product, understand product as a topic. And this means product management. This means product strategy. This means product marketing. The questions you're gonna be asked are going to be around these product topics. And if you don't understand them and you only understand user related things, you're gonna be in trouble in an interview. <sighs> All right, okay, Seriously. okay. That's tip number one. It's getting way too hot. I need to go, I don't even know if we can get to three tips in this one. Okay. This sweat, sweat literally hit the post-it. All right, leave some of this stuff in here, okay? Tip number two. Uh, tip number two. And you would be shocked at the amount of people who do not do this. Research the shit out of the company that you're interviewing at. If you're going for an interview at Facebook, if you're gonna be working on Messenger or something like this, and you go in there and haven't done your research on this app, you're automatically going to be put down lower on the chain of people who are doing interviews. There's nothing worse than people coming to a company, including nothing worse than people coming to AJ and Smart and me asking them questions and it being clear that they've done no research on the company. Honestly, just doing research on the products and the company that you're going to do the interview for is massive. Try to understand like, what is the business goal of this company? What, like, why are they trying to grow? Where are they trying to grow? What are the reasons why they're hiring UX designers? They're not hiring UX designers for your career. They're hiring UX designers because they want to do something. They want to grow the product. They want to make it better, but for business reasons. So try to really, really deeply understand the company that you're going to go and do an interview at. Really understand the business reasons behind what they're doing with their product. And if there is a product already on the market, make sure you use the out of it and start looking for ways that you could improve the product but do not focus just on usability fixes focus also on product fixes so for example if you've read hacking growth or if you read the lean startup then you'll have some terminology around things that you could fix so for example if i'm interviewing someone and they say to me oh yeah, well, um, I, could I could make this page a bit easier to read or I could increase the aesthetic, like I could make the aesthetics look better on this page. That's person A. And the second person, person B comes to me and says, I think I could increase the engagement of this page by doing this, this, and this, and this. And I think I could increase the acquisition on the onboarding funnel. I would just be like, holy crap, this person understands product. This person understands our product and understands product on top of that. Yes! So that's tip number two. Understand the company that you're going to. Okay, look, 
how so, like the sweat levels are so high. Can we have like a sweatometer or something? <laughs> like something that keeps building up? Woo! Oh, okay. Listen, YouTube! I want to know in the comments. What's the sweatiest moment of your What was the sweatiest moment of your life? I know, let's keep going. It's fun. We got, look, here's the thing. We gotta own the fact that it's warm. We gotta play with it. We gotta own the fact that it's warm. Okay. Yeah, All right. Okay, tip number three, final tip. I said tip number one was very important, but tip number three is pretty important as well. If you're going for a junior or mid level UX design interview, designer interview, one of the things that you can really impress people with is telling them and showing them and proving to them that you know how to run workshops. Now, what types of workshops? I'm talking about alignment workshops. I'm talking about product vision workshops. I'm talking about product strategy workshops. I'm talking about brainstorming sessions because what that shows is that you're the type of person they can bring into the company who can also help other people work better together. So for me, if I, and it's super, super rare, if I meet a designer who has that skill, it's almost never, then for me, it's almost like a guaranteed hire. It's like, okay, they know about product. They know, they did their research on this company and I'm gonna be able to get them to run workshops for my team. Holy crap, yes. Now, I didn't mention the obvious things in this video like, Yes, you need to understand usability and yes, you need to understand aesthetics and there's a million videos on YouTube that go through this stuff. That's the basics of UX that everyone can learn. But these are three tips that you can put on top of what you already know to get the edge over other people in interviews. If you like this video, besides liking it, besides commenting it, we have a video every week on this channel. Make sure you hit the smash the subscribe button. I also have a podcast every Monday morning called Jake and Jonathan. It has a new name now called Jake and Jonathan, and it's a show that will teach you all about the product world. So if you want to learn more about product, search Jake and Jonathan on any podcast app and you'll find it. When's this video going out? Tuesday. Doesn't matter. So search for Jake and Jonathan on any podcast app. It used to be called the Product Breakfast Club, so you might also find the Product Breakfast Club, whatever. And we also post daily about the goings on of this agency in our Instagram account. Follow us on Instagram, AJ and Smart Design. Subscribe to the channel, listen to the podcast, f download the newsletter, I don't know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Go and do the interview. Do the interview. Can you, in this video, just because it's one with me in it, can you leave that bit in where you're telling me that? Okay. And then me leave the bit in where I'm answering you right now and just don't edit it. All right, what did you say to say again? Okay. Hopefully these trip. <laughs> Hope. <laughs> Hope. I'm, I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done with this video. No, I'll just be like. Is it recording? Yeah. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> oh, I actually breathed it back. Do something weird for the fan as well. I'm just gonna look. Are we done with the video? <laughs> Book! Book and Book! Alright. Uh. Maybe like the canvas strategy for a file. No! Yeah. No! Did you hear that? No. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was ah! weird. Product strategy, product marketing, and product strategy, product marketing, and product launch. F Understanding product strategy, product marketing. Ah. All right. It's fine. You it's fine. I got it the other time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's tip number one! <laughs> oh my god. That you're doing the interview for. Yeah. It's good, it's fine. We have to make this video funny. Okay. All right. If you can give... So, 
Uh, what you can also do, all right, are you looking for some good tips on how to get a UX design to nail your UX design? Listen, are you looking for, listen, are you looking for some tips on how to get, okay. okay. All right, let's just make it a fun, weird video with some weird moments.